So we're going to start in 1965. Can you just tell us about your thinking? What went on? How did you come to make Sunset Squares? The whole period of the 60s and my turn away from any art that revealed my gender <clears throat> led me to make a lot of big scale sculpture. Uh, even though the LA art scene of the early 60s was unbelievably inhospitable to women, there was a spirit of self-invention. There was no art market. Nobody thought about in LA then. There was, nobody thought they would ever make money. And I learned very quickly that I wouldn't be taken seriously if my work revealed that it was made by a woman. The biggest compliment you could get then was to be told that you, your work looked like it was made by a man. So I tried. <laughs> I tried. I, I, I was a failed man. But there are some... <laughs> There, I mean, when I saw this work in person um, at the ICA Miami, um, I found it funny because the, the, the hints of color, mm -hmm. those pastel feminine shades are funny, right? When you're in dialogue with a kind of... With Richard Serra? <laughs> and, and Saul LeWitt or, or, you know... In retrospect, it seems clear why this work was so radical and why I couldn't get anywhere with it and why I had to destroy so much of it because I couldn't afford to store it. I often talk about the fact that I saw everything through a gender lens. And so all the rejections that I experienced and the lack of understanding, I was sure it was because I was a woman. And part of that was true. But there was another part that I didn't appreciate for a very long time, which was I was treated like shit, but I couldn't imagine that the men were being treated like that too and accepting it. I didn't understand that artists, by and large, are treated very badly. <laughs>